to die. There's too many movements involved in sex for you to not say, oh, I was Stop. Look, you're taking on the clothes. Yeah, and, uh, like. Too many positions for you to not say, oh, I was oblivious. I didn't know what I was doing. It was a mistake. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, like, it's the uh, fact that. Can't, it's like a girl, especially me, like I, got, I respect myself too much to be like, let's say I'm, I am in a relationship and pretend to my mind and be like, oh, like I have sex with someone else. It's just like, maybe. Like, how did it even lead to that? And so that for you. Cool. Boom, you know what time it is. It's the Mandem Link Up Show. I'm your co host, the legendary one himself, the NYTH, M A N E, the myth man himself, G Man. What are you telling them? You don't know, Mandem Link Up Show. Are you telling me next to my brethren, Larissa? Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> Obviously, today's topic is would you have sex with someone knowing that they're in a relationship? <laughs> what do you mean, ladies? Obviously, you're the solo first solo first guest solo. today. Um, nah, I just don't. I wouldn't do it myself personally, and I just feel like it's wrong. Chat shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being dead serious. I feel like just like I don't know for a girl to go out her way knowing that the guy's got a girlfriend already. Just like it's wrong. It happens in this day society. You know this. Not saying you. Yeah, I know what you mean, but it's just like I don't know. Everyone's different, like I said before. So it's just like, yeah. So what do you guys think? I don't know, I just think. <laughs> what you want me to be real, like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna lie, like, uh, cool. If a female is kind of sticking it on me, knowing she's in a relationship, and I'm a single guy. Yes, I am a single guy, ladies. Yes, that. <laughs> like, I would do it. Like, it is deep, but. Bruv, it's deep on her man. It's, like, it's not my problem. Do you get what I'm saying? Like she's the one that's gonna have to deal with the problems, isn't it? So, what's I don't know, isn't it? I don't know. Like that's it. Yeah, but like like I said, like guys are different than girls. For us girls, it's like more of like respect for ourselves, kind of thing. Is that if a guy was to approach us and then we'd later on find out that he's got a girlfriend or a whole new relationship, mm. we just remove ourselves from the situation because it's not needed. It's just wrong. Yeah, so you lot prefer all that drama. Like, there is guys that are just, like, bitches, isn't it? So when they find out that you fucked her girl, like, his girl, yeah, it's just long. It's like, they're going to want to fight you and stuff. I'm not going to lie, yeah. Whenever people get into a relationship, yeah, if you could be the girl, yeah, that he wanted and he's been trying to get you for so long and you've been powering him off, yeah, not respecting it. As soon as he finds another girl and reverts his attention to her, well, suddenly you want him. And then, then that's when shit starts going down. That's how people end up cheating. And then it's just like, so well, you've done all of that because I'm with another girl just to, to fuck shit up. Why would you do that? That's a true point. In my in some scenario basis, I have seen, yeah, as soon as you're single and she got a man, there's no attention. But as soon as you get a girl and your attention now from her to your thing, she gets some type of way. She wants to talk to you. Oh, how you doing? Long time no see. Oh, you know, I got a girl. Oh, yeah, we can still be friends. Safe. So the same way how I've done it. I've had sex with a girl that had a man, and I just wanted I'll do it again if I had to. And I felt no remorse. For that. <laughs> I have no loyalty to no one. Who am I? Who am I being loyal to? But myself. I do it again. I don't know your man. Exactly. I don't know your man. I don't care about your man. Like at the end of the day, that's his problem for going out with a type of girl like whoever true, they are true that's true. why you need to know your girl before you get to be with them you know what i mean background check definitely <laughs> hpi check everything all sorts <laughs> check the mileage check how many owners <laughs> all of that stuff <laughs> i'm telling you it's crazy so you're telling me yeah yeah none of your friends none of your <laughs> well, friends i can't speak on their behalf in it i can just talk about myself speak on their behalf. you don't have to mention names <laughs> no <laughs> yeah me you're telling me none of your friends are telling you told you that they have be a guy and he's, he's in a relationship no <laughs> she's right. chatting she's lying i'm being he's dead serious chatting, shit chatting <laughs> chatting <laughs> shit <laughs> i'm being dead serious i don't have no friends that have ever turned to me and told me yeah i've had sex with someone not that, one in a your, relationship not one of your old school friends that you don't talk to that you don't like listen you could talk freely yeah no but it's like okay cool 
I don't even talk to the girl, but I know how the girl is. So she will say that anyone's her boyfriend, but like no one's really, what's the word? Like, yeah. So it was just like, I don't know whether she is in a relationship, but obviously when I find out that she's doing a thing with someone else, it's like, well, you're not in a relationship kind of thing. But it's like, because I know how she is. Like, I don't really see it as a thing. And I don't really make it seem like, oh yeah, she's in a relationship, but she's out here fucking other guys when I know and have a feeling that She's not really in a relationship with any of the guys that she's dealing with. Have you ever been tempted to cheat? Go on, spill the beat. <laughs> See that silence there? <laughs> no. The I've only been in two relationships my whole life, so it's just like... And that was when I was young, like, since then. I haven't been in a relationship. What's young? I was, like, 16, 17. Oh, that was young. That was a slack couple of years ago. Yeah, but I'm 22 now, so it's just like... That's a good a teenage love, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. But come on, realistically speaking, teenage love, you cheat on your teenage love, it's, just, it's what it is, isn't it? I don't know, like, as girls back then, yeah, our generation was a bit different. Like, we was on this, the girls I'm talking about, like, we was on this, oh, when it's our first time, we want to be with the guy forever, da, da, da. Now, this generation is just like, fuck it, like, we want to go fuck whoever we want to go fuck kind of thing. But it's just like, then, when I was like, let's say, 15 turning 16 i wanted it to be something serious so it's just like i wasn't on cheating i wanted it just to be me and him till the end kind of thing <laughs> so are you, are <laughs> i'm not you... being serious though you gotta see it as that that's how our generation was when we were younger so are you saying that your perception about that has now changed to just oh 100 percent yeah oh, so you're on fucking Huh? Are you on fucking now? No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> well, I can. So listen, like, cool. I wouldn't go out of my way to go and fuck someone that's in a relationship. But if the guy's single or he tells, like, obviously guys are not going to go out their way to tell you, oh, yeah, I'm in a relationship unless you ask. But I'm not going to go to a guy while I'm out and, like, to a club or something and ask him, oh, what, do you have a girlfriend? If not, uh, then, I'm yeah, single. <laughs> what are you oh, telling man. me? Forget the show. I'm single. What about now? <laughs> <laughs> You get me? I ain't got no girl. I ain't got no girl. Like, I'm all good. So you're just basically going back from your teenage love that you thought was going to happen. You was going to be with this guy forever. That, yeah, know, but it didn't like, happen. Of course it was never going to happen. Cool. It's teenage love. You know this, that, the only people I've seen like that is that my nan and granddad have been together for years. That mm. was in their time and generation. Yeah. This generation is done at it. <laughs> it's, it's not done. happening. You could be in a relationship with your fucking six other girls at the same time, That's and true. you're coming back and saying I love you. <laughs> you know the craziest thing. What? See the craziest thing about that is yeah. See like like you said about your grandparents here yeah, and their type of relationship. You can still have it now, but I feel like it's everyone's trying to use social media as a way in which why people are cheating. You know them times there. Back in them times with your granddad times here. Yeah, you know in order to cheat, you actually had to physically. Talk to that person face to face. Yeah, you have now to start it's sending just... letters in a bottle, throwing yeah. the sea, hope that they get. You know, <laughs> someone's there. But now everyone's trying to come on this social media stuff. Like it's still the same principle in it. At the end of the day, if you really want it, you'll go get it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it's easier to go get it now. I would say. Don't you think? I don't know. Yeah, you could say that. Obviously, in terms of getting in contact, it's much more easier. Yeah, through like but social like, media and in stuff. In terms of having, having maintaining a proper relationship, I feel like if you could still have it this like in this generation, it's just it's hard to find the good ones because there's so many foul ones, and I'm one of those foul ones, and I'm proud to be one. Well, we just lost love in a hopeless place, it's basically. Yeah, it's bait. Literally, is that? I don't know. There's man. too many Drakes. <laughs> too many. I'm a future. Bait. Drake. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me now that you'll never do it? Nah. I just know me as a female, like I have my own, um, I don't know if not what respect Yeah, basically. And I just know what I can tolerate and what I can do and what I don't want to do. And that's just me. Like every girl is different, but. Do you believe in the cycle of cheating? You got cheated on, so then you cheat on the next person. Yeah. And it's an end of cycle. What? Yeah, I do believe in that. You don't believe in that cycle? No, no, no. no. I do. I definitely believe in that cycle. I believe so in that. So if you cheat on me, it's a, it's exceptional for me to go cheat on you. No, it's not, like, it's not like you're going to go out your way to cheat, but you're going to feel like as if not, I'm not going to get played like a mug. I'll just leave. 
No, I'm yeah, saying in your no, next he's, relationship. Yeah, like, but he's just saying You're not going to have the like, same effort really that you did for the last one because obviously, like you said in the previous episode, everything you, that you have carry it on, innit? You always get something from that last relationship. Say if your last thing you take on is she cheated on me after all the effort I put in. You know, nine out of ten, you're not going to look at the next person and feel like as if you're going to put in that same effort. And if anything, it's going to take time. He's got a point. Uh, he have got a point. <laughs> He's got, he a, point. got a point. And nowadays, come like you say, yeah, people are people are having sex when they're in relationships. You know, that person's probably gonna do it to the next person. That person going to do the next person. This is why I've been single from the jump. I can't do it. I'm not gonna be play like no Alfie Moon. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I can't. Sorry, I got too much self respect for myself to some girl, some girl to tell me it was a mistake. How is it a mistake? You know, having sex cannot be a mistake. That's what I mean. That is like I can't. It's like a girl, especially me. Like I got, I respect myself too much to be like, let's say I'm, I am in a relationship, and to turn to my man and be like, oh, like I had sex with someone else. It's just like really, like how did it even lead to that? And it's so that for you to know that, yeah, you had one too many drinks. It's like everyone knows that they're still conscious. Like they know exactly what they're doing when they're drinking or they're high or whatever. You don't know exactly what you're doing. So it's like for me to turn around and be like, oh, it was an accident. That's no accident. That you it? knew what you was doing, Thank regardless. You. Like, there's too many movements involved in sex for you to not say, "Oh, I was an accident." Look, you're taking down the clothes. Yeah, then, like uh, too many positions for you to not say, "I was oblivious. I didn't know what I was doing. It was a mistake." Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it's the like, fact that you both walked in the same room together. It's just like you could have said no from the jump, like before you started moving from wherever you was, and he told you to go upstairs. You could just told him no, like from there. And that, that, then that excuse that oh, I was going through some hard times or some bad times and oh, all that. Yeah. Bro, listen, <laughs> come on, man. But what do you classify as cheating then? Like, apart from sex, obviously. But talking to other girls while in a relationship. Wow. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. But when I say that, is that let's say cool, you have your friends or whatever, and obviously when new girls come about, let's say. I'm in a relationship with in a relationship with someone since September, and then from September he's got all these group of girls or whatever that he knows, and which I'm comfortable with because clearly you've known them before you met me. But once you start saying that you met Jennifer yesterday and so and so the other day, I'm just like nah, like you can't be having all these new females coming in like me and you just didn't start dating. It's just like who are these girls? And it's like it just becomes drama. Do you get what I mean? If that makes any uh, sense. If your boyfriend, yeah, let me get this clear. If your boyfriend yeah. had a girl best friend, yeah, yeah, would you feel a type of way? No. You'll be fine with it. Yeah, because I've been Yeah, that's calm. But you've met her, everything's cool. Yeah. Right? You don't have a problem. I don't have no issue him. with that. Yeah, I'm with, I don't know, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Lisa chilling. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're taking it to them, to them, like, besties that are constantly together. But I feel like in this day and age, yeah, there is, a, like, girls and guys should know a certain distance between, like, a girl being in a relationship with her best friend and obviously having to let them know that, obviously, I don't want to take him away from you, but that's my best friend kind of thing. But, you know, it's, by saying that, yeah, you should... You should have known that. You should have un understand their relationship before you even got with the guy. Yeah, but you got to see it as this year. Guys always say they don't have time for things, yeah. But they make time for, let's say, their besties or whatever. But when you get into a relationship, you got to make time for your girl and your bestie and whatever else you got going on. Do you get what I mean? So eventually, everything else that's not important is, I wouldn't say, going to get cut off. But it's just, there'll be a slight distance or like there wouldn't be a regular, like they wouldn't be seeing each other all the time. That's acceptable, but my whole point is, yeah, from past experiences, obviously, <laughs> I've got a girl best friend, yeah. she's been my best friend for about 12 or 13 years mm. now. My past experiences uh, in relationships, they've just got mad jealous on that, you need to cut her off kind of thing, innit? Mm. So I'm just saying, why do you females feel a type of way if you know it's just a friendship thing and we've been friends before I even met you? Why do you feel jealous? Why do you feel a type of way? Right. I, I, <laughs> I can't know, answer like, that for everyone, like... But your I personal opinion like. I don't know they probably get jealous because it's it's too much for them it's just like I'm your girl like I want your full attention I'm not wanting let's say your best friend to have more of your attention than I do kind of thing so yeah they probably do get jealous in that way well then the rest I don't know but all right, so you had a relationship that. yeah he was in a relationship yeah. and you went clubbing and like, you were dancing and that you classify that as cheating 
If I'm dancing on another guy, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say cheating, but that's like disrespect for him. Yeah, I find that a bit. Just like I'm going, like imagine I'm out. Imagine I live with him, yeah. Let's say I'm I'm going out to a party and then I start whining on bear guys or whatever. And then I go home and I'm going to go lay next to my boyfriend. Like, and I've just been out whining on bare guys. Like, that's just bare wrong. I just feel like that's proper disrespectful. Let's say I was whining on one of his virgins and then later on I end up finding out that they were actually virgins and he told him, yeah, my your girl was whining on me at a party. Da, da, da. Like, you don't want that for your man to be feeling that like, humiliated or... Do you get what I mean? Yeah, but I don't find it cheating. What if you're both gun leaning and all that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, if no, you're that's, gun leaning, that's, that's fine. That's different. But yeah. I mean, like, whining and all of that, like... But why? It's not... I wouldn't be doing do all of that. Clubs? To myself, yeah. And obviously my virgins, but not no guy. We whine with me. <laughs> 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 you get me? I'm single. <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, I kind of am, but no. All right, you oh, are single. You you're in that rock see what I mean <laughs> see what do you, why do girls do this what's this I'm kind of I kind of am I kind of not what's this 50-50 either you are or you're not Cause this guy it's because when you're you. seeing someone you're not really in a relationship but you're technically not really single so you're not so in a relationship right, so would you say you're, you're faithful to him yeah but you're not going out yeah so you're lost I'm not lost Is that how do I put it it's just like Right, I'm at a stage in my life where I don't want a relationship because I've got a lot of things going on, yeah? And he's also on the same route. So it's like, we don't want to be in a relationship and then it just goes wrong because we both knew that we was busy. We didn't have enough time for each other. So we really know it's not going to go the right way. But obviously, if we just get to know each other a bit better, so when we do get in a relationship, it's not a thing where, oh, shit, I didn't know this of you or I didn't know that's how you react when this and this goes on. Do you get what I mean? This just sounds like friends of benefits to me. You know, <laughs> you know, all I just heard was, all I heard was, I got a man. <laughs> Wait, say that again. No, I didn't. Definitely it friends with like benefits. Friends with benefits. Uh. I don't know, but that's my opinion, isn't it? I just feel like I'm not ready to be in a relationship like that. So how long do you think it will take for you in order to get into this relationship with this geezer? I don't know. Whoever the fuck Shut he is. Geezer, right? It depends. Nah, you know what? Yeah, it depends because it, it will eventually get to a point where I'll either will lose interest for that person and end up meeting someone new and that will probably be when I'm ready. Like Yeah, I'm here. I'm someone new. <laughs> I'm unique. I'm a different breed. It just depends. Is that women nowadays, yeah, we've got our focus on a lot more things than being in a relationship and all of that. Like we wanna I don't know, start our own business or just like be successful, have our own money, have our own funds and stuff and just like be independent kind of thing. So just that we are focused on way bigger things than just being in a relationship kind of thing. Come on, that high morale one still. For so you get years, older, though. you got like more responsibilities. It is what it is. And it's just like, you got to focus on the right things. True point. That's a true point. No, I get where you're coming from. Yeah, you're coming from, but don't lead the nigger on, man. Like. Yeah, man. Come on, man. How long have you, <laughs> you lot been talking for? No comment. <laughs> oh. Lead the nigger on, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you been, have you been talking since last year? <laughs> no comment. Oh, oh dang! <laughs> I'm not saying that. Right, bro, wherever you are, wherever you are, hey man. Hey, I feel you, bro. Hey, <laughs> leading man. the nigger on. That's what you're doing. Why are you doing this? I hate doing this. You're hurting shit. my heart as much as you're hurting his right now. I feel this pain. I've been led I on. Do shit. I've been led on by people. Being people's led life. on. It's not a nice yeah, feeling. It's not a nice mm. You always feel like if you're getting somewhere, then she shuts you wait, down. Wait, wait, but it's like we're both on the same page, so it's different. No, he might not be on the same page. He might just be saying that's to comfort you. Exactly. You know what men do? <laughs> Us men, we take in a lot of stuff we to please feelings, the women, you know. You know. We do have feelings. <laughs> And you <laughs> girls, you girls like to take but not give back. Like, sometimes no, man just want nah, to, you nah, know? nah, nah, nah. I feel like that's it's wrong. Selfish, it's wrong. It's selfish human being. I'm not involved. I just, I don't know. Like, like I said, Toying every girl's different. Emotions. Toying with his heart. <laughs> his heartstrings there. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> I don't just believe he is. <laughs> you don't. Nah. He's probably at home thinking, why is she texting me right now? <laughs> I don't message her like four or five times already. Airing him out, innit? <laughs> Giving it time. Giving it time. <laughs> you see, you see people like her stress me out. <laughs> people like Giving her it stress time. me out. Just stress me out in life. But you know what? Just put my hands up to this one. That's what it is. So overall, would you? Yeah, I would, innit? 
I'm not gonna turn down a woman, turn down so a woman that's actually on. I don't know, like, getting it. Easy. I feel that's. I'm not gonna turn that down. You get me? I don't know her, man. So yes, I would. I'm not All a right. fuckboy, by the way. But I'm let's say, <laughs> let's say now, yeah, that um, you're in a relationship and you then like your girl goes and fuck someone else and then comes back to you. But obviously, you will never know unless she tells you. Uh, uh, I'll leave it, bro. Oh yeah, but that's life. the thing. You will never know unless she tells you. No, 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 no. no. I got spider man senses. I always clock on. You might not even have to tell me. It's just that feeling. You get that instinct in your soul. Something telling you something's not right. And nine out of ten, every time I had it, yeah, it's always been that. Yeah, but I don't know. I'll do it. You would do it. <laughs> you would do it. I was I'll do. I'll do it all the done. time. Get all the time. <laughs> Nasty. Get me. All right. So boom. That's the end of the Mandem Link Up Show. Obviously, stay tuned for more Larissa. Thank you for coming on to the show. You're welcome. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow our Snapchat. Follow our Insta at the Mandem Link Up Show. Stay locked in. More stuff coming. Big business. Boom. Get me. And we're going to deal with this one after. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, she's single. <laughs> Lock up. <laughs> <laughs>